So I'm Shelly Hitchcock and I'm part of the Jail and Prison Reentry Program. I was in uh, jail in Mason City, Iowa for probably about three months and um, I got out and got into the drug court program and uh, COSA is a part of something that they offer for help and uh, when I first got out we were in pretty bad shape as far as no employment you know um, we had a we had a place to live but you know just got lucky by that but we had help with they helped us with our rent um, with our uh, utility bill and just being there for us for support you know and uh, one of them right now is also helping me with um, my teeth, trying to help me find a dentist to get my teeth done. But I think it's helped a lot. I mean, I have a, almost a year clean off meth. So, um, and just got me along, you know. I, I'm really close with my, my COSA worker and we've become really good friends. and. You know, when you're in recovery, you really don't have a lot of that, you know, you kind of lose all that before when you're, you go into jail and come out, you realize there's no one there, you know, so it's nice to have someone, but um, I just, I think it's definitely helped me, me and my family all together, yeah. You know, just so you can see light at the end of the tunnel, you know, I mean, there's been a couple bumpy patches along the way, you know, but um, we were always able to get over them and move forward and I guess I'm just, when I'm sober and I'm living the life I'm living, I'm always hopeful and uh, grateful and all that, you know. I mean, it's not something you can just not pay rent, you know. I mean, we were down to our last resort. We had nothing else to do and, you know, so, I mean, I would think that we probably would have struggled a lot more than what we did. So when you're in trying to do your recovery program and do all that, which is hard enough already, to be struggling with bills and getting your kids things and, food and all those kind of things, you know, it just, that just makes it even harder, which stress is not a good thing for recovery either, you know, so I guess I'm just, I look at the big picture, you know, like where I'm at today with a three bedroom home and two vehicles and, you know, I have my kids back in my custody, um, um, you know, I'm just came a long way.